everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve e power x into dy by dx equals to 2xy square plus y into e power x. Solution. Given differential equation. e power x into dy by dx equals to 2xy square plus y into e power x. So let's make the quotient of dy by dx to 1. For that purpose, what we'll do is we'll take this e power x to RHS. Then we'll get dy by dx equals to 2xy square plus y into e power x y e power x. Since we are having two terms in the numerator of RHS and one term in the denominator, so we'll split this expression into two terms. Then you'll get 2xy squared by e power x plus y into e power x by e power x, right? Again, you can write this as here e power x gets cancelled and you can write the first term as 2xy squared into One by power x plus y is equal to two x y square into reciprocal of e power x is e power minus x plus y. Again, write functions of x first, and then function of y plus y. Okay, now we have dy by dx equals to 2x e power minus x into y square plus 1. Now, take this y to LHS. dy by dx minus y equals to 2x e power minus x into y square, right? Which is Bernoulli's equation. Okay, you can compare it with the Bernoulli's equation and find PQ, right? So, this is Bernoulli's equation in Y, that P and Q are either functions of X alone or constants, okay? Here P is minus 1, right? Which is a constant, okay? Which is... Bernoulli's equation. See, in this term, you are having y square, but here you are having 1 y, right? So that we will bring this y to LHS so that the given equation can be reduced to Bernoulli's form. Now, let's write P, Q and M where P equals to simply compare this equation, reduced equation with Bernoulli's equation. Then we will get P equals to minus 1 and Q equals to function of x, 2x equal minus x and compare y square with y power n. Then you will get n equals to to here, the condition we have is n must not be equals to 0 or 1. And n is a real number. Okay. Here p is a constant and q is a function of x. It does not involve any other variable other than x. So, we call it as function of x alone. Now, We'll reduce this Bernoulli's equation to linear equation. For that purpose, just notice the equation. Observe both the equations. So here we have, in the Bernoulli's equation, we have extra function y squared, right? But in the linear equation, we have either function of x alone or constant in q, as q otherwise, right? So we have to eliminate y square from the Bernoulli's equation to reduce it to linear equation form. 
For that purpose, what we'll do is We'll simply divide the whole equation by y square or we can multiply both sides with 1 by y square or simply take this y square to LHS then 1 by y square into dy by dx minus y by y square equals to 2x equal minus x 1 by y square into dy by dx Minus here 1 by gets cancelled and you get minus 1 by y equals to 2x e power minus x. Let's see what happens if we multiply the equation with 1 by y, y square on both sides. Then we'll get 1 by y square times dy by dx minus y equals to 1 by y square into or 1 by y square times 2x e power minus x into y square here. y square gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx minus y by y square equals to RHS part 2x e power minus x. Right? You'll get the same thing again. Either you can divide both sides with y square or you can multiply 1 by y square on both sides or simply you can take y square to LHS. Okay. So this is a reduced equation. Now let 1 by y equals to some u. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Here we are going to use chain rule. du by dx equals to du by this is a function of y, right? So it involves differential dy in between. Now find derivative of u with respect to y. We have u equals to 1 by y. Now let's find derivative of u with respect to y. Then you'll get du by dy equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Now replace du by dy with minus 1 by y square. Then you'll get minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Right. Either you can use this chain rule or simply you can directly do here. Firstly, find the derivative of 1 by y with respect to y. That is minus 1 by y square into simply write dy by dx equals du by dx. We will get the same thing. Okay. Then minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. Instead of doing this lengthy process, we'll go for a shortcut. Okay? But in the first term, we have positive 1 by y square into dy by dx. But we have negative 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply on both sides with minus then we'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. When 1 by y equals to u then 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. The above equation becomes replace 
the first term by minus du by dx minus replace 1 by y by u equals to 2x into e power minus x. Now multiply this equation on both sides with minus then you'll get du by dx plus u equals to minus 2x into e power minus x which is linear equation in u. Compare the reduced equation with linear equation in U, then you'll get P and Q, which is linear, right? Linear in U. Now, again, by comparing these two equations, we'll get P and Q where P equals to 1 and Q equals to minus 2x e power minus x, right? Here p is a constant and q is a function of x alone. It does not involve any other variable other than x. So we call this as function of x alone. Now let's find the integrating factor. We need to find the general solution to the given equation, right? So the general solution of the reduced equation, that is the linear equation, will be the general solution to the given equation. So now we'll find the general solution to the linear equation, which is the general solution to the given equation, okay? So first we will find integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor is given by the formula e power integral p into differential dx. This equals to e power integral for p equals to 1 dx is equal to e power integral dx, which is equal to e power integral dx is x. So our integrating factor is e power x. We will find the general solution using this formula. The general solution of the given Equation is given by u into integrating factor e power x equals to integral q for q equals to minus 2x e power minus x into integrating factor into dx plus c is equals to write the constant minus 2 outside the integral you'll get minus 2 integral e power x sorry x into e power minus x into e power x into dx plus c now is equals to minus 2 into x into e power minus x into e power x is e power minus x plus x equals to minus 2 into integral x into e power minus x plus x is 0 into dx plus c since e power x sorry e power 0 is 1 then you'll get x into 1 into dx plus c now we are having two into integral x dx plus c, which is equals to you'll get minus two, right? Minus sorry, minus two into integral x dx is x squared by two plus c two gets cancelled. You get minus x squared plus c. Then. Since u equals to 1 by y, so let's replace u by 1 by y. Then you'll get e power x by y equals to minus x squared plus c, which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.